Hello everyone, my name is Ethan and welcome to another Minecraft mod review. Today we're checking out the Inventory Pets mod. These little guys will sit in your inventory and when in your hotbar, they will give you special little bonuses that allow you to, you know, survive and thrive even better. They also require food, they can be crafted, every one of them has a unique ability and I'm sure you guys are going to love it. So don't forget to leave a like if you think this mod is cool and let's get into the first how to craft and the new items added to the game. Alrighty guys, so the first thing we have to talk about is the series of new nuggets that have been added to the game, ranging from coal all the way up to emerald. So we have coal, iron, lapis, diamond, emerald, and of course, obsidian. And obviously there's gold nuggets that already exist in the game, and this is the basic recipe on how to craft each pet. So what you need is, you need to go into your uh, NIE, or you need to go onto the forum link, which is in the description below, and you need to check which of these nuggets coincides with the pet that you would like to create. So here I've created a creeper. So we've got six emerald nuggets, a golden ingot, a diamond, and then the food that creepers eat, which is the gunpowder. So if I go over here, and I click on the pet creeper, you'll see that this is the recipe. The food always goes here. There'll be different nuggets required, and then of course an emerald and a gold ingot. So if we go over to say the cow pet, it's uh, three coal nuggets, three iron ingots, the pet's food of choice, which can be found on the forum post, a diamond, and a gold ingot. I will show you how to craft each pet as we go over each pet and their abilities, but I wanted to show you guys this general fact is that the top here will always be the pet food. There'll always be six nuggets and then a gold ingot and a diamond for almost every pet there are some special pets that there is an exception for but we'll talk about them later in the video alrighty guys so let's go over the mob pets first so these are not peaceful animals these are mobs all right so we have the creeper pet the enderman pet the ghast pet the iron golem pet magma cube pet the snow golem pet a spider pet and a wither pet all of which have their own abilities, they all have their own food as well, which you need to have in your inventory in order to use the pet. So let's uh, let's go over the creeper. I've showed you how to craft this guy, but let's go over it one more time. Six emerald nuggets, bit of gunpowder, a diamond, and a gold ingot. And of course, it will tell you, uh, it makes you immune to explosions, so I'm assuming it gives you blast resistance. Its favorite food is gunpowder, and when you right click, it's going to explode. So we're going to walk over here. Uh, let's go up onto the hill, and babush! See that? Babush. Now, let's go into game mode zero. And now, as you can see, when we use the creeper's abilities, he will actually lose a little bit of durability. This is the hunger bar for the mob. So, if we wait a little bit, he should consume some gunpowder and restore. So, let's, uh, let's use him up. And as you can see, he ate a bit of gunpowder and restored. If we use him again... He'll eat a little bit. You can hear him eating, which is really cute. Uh, I'm going to have to blast my way back out of here. Bang? No? Bang. I'm digging myself a hole. All right, let's do this. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's a that's a really easy way to demonstrate how the food works. You need to have it in your inventory. Okay, oh, let's, um, let's throw it somewhere where it won't get blown up. Let's throw it over here. And let's go back over and go bang. And then bang. And now... Got no gunpowder. So we can't use the mob's abilities, and I cannot confirm if we have blast resistance after that, once he's out of food, but I do know that once we pick our food back up, we go over, we click again, and he will fill himself back up. Alright, so now let's take a look at our next pet, the Enderman pet, which has teleport on the right, quick, uh, the right click, and then auto teleport when health is low. Its favorite food is the obsidian nuggets. Let's get our... Enderman, let's get his food. Let's go into game mode one and we'll grab ourselves a couple of spawn eggs of something that will hurt us. What is something that will hurt us? Let's get some skeletons. Let's get a couple of skeletons. We'll put them under the trees and we'll see how the auto teleport functions. So first of all, in survival mode, uh, if we'd like to teleport, let's see if we can go all the way up there. Whoa! All the way to the other side of the island. <laughs> let's aim for that tree oh so that's about how far we get so if we go from over here and try and get to there 
That's about how far we go. And he has a little giggle when he eats one of his obsidian nuggets. So we get one, two, and three teleports before our enderman needs to eat. Now let's test out this safety measure that he gives us. Oh, they're going to fight each other now. I'm going to put another skeleton here. Thank you. All right, let's see how low our HP can get. And we should auto-teleport pretty soon. Enderman! Oh! And there we go. Teleported away. Safe and sound. Alrighty, and next up is the gas pet, which uses blaze powder as its food. So we have shoots fireballs on the right click, and its favorite food is blaze powder. So we'll go into game mode zero, and let's give this a bit of a go after we have some noms and heal ourselves up. Whoosh. Whoa! Fire and everything. This is just like being a gas. And that was three shots, I believe. So one, two, three. And then he has to eat a blaze powder. Let's see if you can... That's a lot. Let's see if we can uh, rapid fire really quickly here. Oh, yeah, we can too. We can dig our way to the bottom of the earth like this. That's pretty loud. <laughs> that is a very interesting, interesting pet. And we're back. And we are moving on to our first friendly mob pet, which is in fact the Iron Golem pet, which has a temporary shield, which is the right click, and its food is the Iron Ingot. So let's just go push. Whoa! Two minutes of, like, full-on absorption. How strong is that? Shoot me. Oh, wow. That's a... That's a lot. And it does... How many of those can I use? Shoot me again. Thank you. And again. Thank you. That's three per iron ingot. Wow, you'll have no excuse to ever die again. Next up is a mob ability that I'm not sure if I 100% trust, but the Magma Cube Pet gives a automatic fire resistance too, which you can see on the side of my screen over here, and we can walk on lava, its favorite food being nether quartz. I'm not sure how this guy is going to consume food though. So, let us see... Wow! I really can't walk on lava. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm a pincushion. That is awesome. It's almost like... It's like walking on glass, too, because I slowly slide. He doesn't appear to be consuming any food, though, which is interesting. Let's see if we walk into it. The magma cube does not appear to consume any of his favorite food, the nether quartz. So that's sort of, that's a bit OP. You could just keep that in your last slot while you're in the nether, you'd be golden. Next up is the snow golem pet, which I don't fully understand. Uh, he gives you knockback. He also gives you snowballs. His favorite food is pumpkin. So let's see if quite possibly, oh! Whoa, we sent that guy flying. Okay. I can see something fun that you can do with this. We need something like a cow. Zombie pigman, no. Sheep, that's interesting. All right, let's put down three sheep. And we'll go back into our original game mode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. That is fantastic. He also apparently gives us snowballs. Not that I am seeing any. He's also not consuming any of his food, I have noticed. Just like the last pet. He doesn't seem to eat much. His favorite food is pumpkin, which I have. Our next one, the spider, gives an almost immediate result because it gives us a jump boost 4, which also gives us a fall damage resistance, really. It also gives you wall climb and hang on wall. So I'm assuming that means that I climb straight up that wall. Oh, hello. <laughs> and if I half... No? Oh, yeah, I can climb it. And if I sneak, I can hang on. So as long as I continue to face the wall, I can actually sneak up and down it. Let's see if we can get a better uh, get a better action shot of this one on here by sneaking. No? That's interesting. There we go. We're on the wall. <laughs> he also doesn't assume to consume any food, just like the last two, which is a bit bizarre. But I guess it's not an effect you can activate. He gives you string, uh, which is obviously, I'm assuming, a random thing. So I'm assuming whenever I get string, he will eat his favorite food, which is raw meat, which isn't actually in the game. So I went with raw beef, assuming that that was what the game was talking about. 
It is time for our final mob pet, the Wither Pet, which has lifesteal 25% and also immune to the Wither Effect, its favorite food being soul sand. So let's chuck down a skeleton, get shot a couple of- oops, don't light yourself on fire, you okay? Alright, I'm gonna get a new one because you're not very good at your job. Alright, so let's see if I lifesteal with a regular weapon, so we'll right click and hopefully get the effect. Oh yeah, I am too. I am life stealing. You see that? All right. One, two, lose a bit of HP and then life steal it back. That is a handy one to have on your bar. Oh, can't get close. Getting shot too many times. Life steal. That's fantastic. And it would appear that the only time the wither is going to consume food is when you're actually being immune to the wither effect, which is also really helpful in a wither fight. Alrighty guys, it's time to move on to the peaceful pets and we're actually going to start blitzing through these a little bit faster as well. So for your peaceful pets, there's a few less. You've got the chicken, cow, ocelot, pigu, sheep, and of course a squid. All of which use the following foods. The chicken enjoys seeds, the cow enjoys wheat, the ocelot just likes fish. Ah, cooked fish. There we go. There we go. Cooked fish. Okay. And our pig likes carrot. Sheep likes wheat, and of course, our squid likes raw fish. So, let's get each guy out. One, two... Oh, let's get him out one at a time really quickly. Let's get him out one at a time. So, our chicken gives us a speed boost. It'll also give you eggs, and that's what it's going to consume its food. So, you can see we get a speed four boost pretty quick. Pretty, pretty decent stuff. So, let's put that away. Let's get our cow. Removes negative potion effects. Fills empty buckets with milk. Its favorite food is wheat which is there. I can't really show that. So now for the ocelot pet, we get night vision, scares away creepers, and catches fish when near water. So let's do that. So let's get ourselves this. See if we can't catch ourselves a fish. Come on. There it is. That was easy. Where'd that go? There it is. Ha! <laughs> that is fantastic. Alrighty, next up is our pig, and we need to go into game mode zero for this one. Apparently, the pig boosts hunger saturation, can eat poisonous foods, and gives you pork chops, its favorite food being carrot. So we need to very, very quickly make ourselves hungry, I think. So I've got increased food saturation, which means that it's going to take me longer to get hungry than it normally would, which it definitely is. All right, now let's go ahead and eat. And that should have increased the saturation that I got from my pork chops, making it longer before I will need to eat again. Moving on to our sheep. It gives you slow fall, wool, and it is favorite food is also wheat. So let's see if we can get the slow fall to work. I was unable to get this to work during testing, but that could just be me. Let's see what happens. So I got the, I've clicked with it a bunch. Hup. Oh yeah, do you see that? No damage, and I slowed down right before I hit the ground. That's really cool. The sheep would be a handy one to have when exploring, for sure. Moving on to our final peaceful pet, which gives the squid pet. It gives you water breathing, underwater vision, and a swim boost. Its favorite food being raw fish. So, let's jump underwater. Night vision. Ooh, the swim boost is nice. You don't sink as fast, and it's actually really laggy. It makes me lag a little bit. It's a little bit hard to control, but that is really cool. So, uh, even if you're not holding it, you still get it. Okay, that's really neat. The squid is quite the handy companion. Alrighty guys, so next up we have our utility pets. Now these ones are really self-explanatory, so I'm not going to actually show you the abilities because you've seen all this stuff before. But basically, our first one is the anvil pet, which slowly auto-repairs any of your items whilst the anvil pet is sitting in one of your nine hotbar slots. Won't do anything if it's sitting here, but if it's sitting here, it will. Alright? It also damaged... It all slowly auto repairs damaged items in your inventory. It also, its favorite food is the iron nugget, which can be made by just putting an iron ingot in, getting nine nuggets, just like you would with a gold ingot. Next up is the bed pet, which obviously allows you to sleep during the night. Its favorite food is wool. Very simple. Next up is the brewing stand. Now, this one brews random potions. Its favorite food being nether wart. So, for the cost of one nether wart, you get a random potion. Look at that. Filled your inventory with useful stuff. You got some instant health, some water. That's a lot cheaper than actually making your own potions, uh, is what I'm trying to get at. So let's quickly clear that. And now, moving on, our next one is the chest pet. Its favorite food is wooden planks. And it just opens a standard single chest, like that. 
Next is your crafting table, which allows you to craft. Obviously, also enjoys wooden planks. Next up is our double chest, which I'll show you is a full double chest, just with a right click. Then we have our enchanting table, which allows you to enchant its favorite food being book. Furnace smelts first item in hot bar when you right click its favorite food being coal. So we'll have to show you guys this one. Let's go ahead. We'll head back here and we'll find ourselves some iron. Iron like this. Oop, that's not the iron I wanted. So all we have to do is right click. You could spam it. So it'll probably cost you one coal per ingot. But it's also a lot faster. After that, we have our jukebox, which plays a disc in your inventory. Right click. You can pause or resume said disc by right clicking again and skip to the next disc is by sneak plus right click. Its favorite food being redstone. That's really cool. And this next one, I personally think is probably the most useful if you're in the nether, definitely. If you ever get trapped in the nether, all you got to do is right click. Have some obsidian nuggets or nether quartz on you. Nether quartz can be acquired in the nether quite easily. And you'll be able to get back and forth. Actually, I'm not going to do that because it will cause lag. Last but not least, definitely not least, is our special pets. These ones all have very unique abilities. Our first one is Mickerson. His favorite food is the diamond nugget, so he's a little bit more expensive, but he gives you consistent resistance and the secret of life, which I have no idea what that is. But right now we have resistance three, and let's see if anything happens. Nothing appears to happen. Game mode zero. Secret of life going to save me from certain death. Let's see. Can Mikkelsen save me from certain death, or will I simply burn up and die? I think he is. I think he's regening me just above one heart. There we go, we're below. Nope. Come on. Mickerson, save me. I have no idea what the secret of life is. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next one. Our next one is a little bit weird. This is Pingit. Uh, it uses sonar to help you locate ores and gems. Its favorite food is also the diamond nugget. Listen. Hear how quiet that is? Let's see what happens when we get closer. Do you hear that when I was standing next to the coal? Getting further away. Must be some around here somewhere. Let's get ourselves into game mode one. We'll quickly grab ourselves a pick out. Oh no, wait, we can just break things. Where is the ore that is nearby, Pingit? Can you guys find it? I'm not very good at this. I honestly would never use Pingit myself. But uh, there's definitely some ore around here somewhere for him to be beeping about. It's just a matter of finding it is what I find to be difficult. See, and it could be, could be picking up the coal here. No idea. But it's a very interesting concept. People who understand sonar better than me would be able to use this Pingut pet. The one, the ones on the end are the ones that I truly enjoy. But this next one is the Purplicious Cow Pet. Its favorite food being a diamond nugget. It gives you health regeneration and it fills empty buckets with lava. There's not really much that I can show you with that. But yeah, he'll always have you on regeneration, and it'll fill your buckets with lava. That's very handy. I hate collecting lava. Next up is the Quantum Crystal Monster, whose favorite food is the Lapis Nugget. Not very expensive, but he can summon minions. This is where things get a little different, because... There they are. They're really loud. And we get these sort of reskinned Endermen, and this reskinned Blaze creature, who will turn on you if you attack... They will turn on you. One down. So the others don't like me now. They get pretty mad about me killing their friend. But uh, let's kill these guys off. They're pretty tough. As you can see, they're pretty tough. They're also not affected by me turning down the volume. That's really cool. I think the Quantum Crystal Monster could be very handy in combat. Not as handy as this next guy. The Black Hole Pet. He has the ability to slow time. His 
favorite food is the obsidian nugget. And the best part about this pet is that your arrows stay at a normal speed. What does that mean? I'll show you what it means. Skeleton. Let's get this. And we better put some skeletons under the tree here. Like so. And now let's go ahead and stand in front of them. Game mode zero. Normal arrows. Slow-mo arrows. You see how I'm slowing down time? There's nothing you can do to stop me, skeletons. I'm invincible. And it hasn't used any food yet. It'll just keep doing this. Just constantly. They're loud. But it will keep doing that. <laughs> Let's quickly flash peaceful here so they can go away. Because they're so loud. And let's continue on. The black hole pet is overpowered. Not gonna lie. I think it's overpowered. But uh, it's also gonna make this constant sound now, won't it? Yeah. It's gonna make that constant, constant sound. Let's see if we can, uh, see if I can turn that off. Alright, so with the horrible sound gone, we can now get on to the cloud pet, which actually gives fast flight, lightning strike with the right click, and its favorite food is qu nether quartz. So we're gonna have to grab some quartz to show you guys this one. Nether Quartz. Let's get a stack. We have to go into game mode zero. So the first thing that you'll notice is that this guy casts lightning. Okay? Cast lightning pretty much anywhere that you click. And he'll eat some food. It's pretty, pretty strong. Oh. <laughs> but if you also fly as if you're in creative mode, you can fly. He consumes food pretty quickly doing this, I believe. Well, he doesn't appear to be anymore. Possibly when I land is when he'll consume it. Nope, it's only when he's shooting lightning, apparently. So we pop up in the air. You can fly. Vanilla Minecraft. Just flying around. Just whatever, man. Whatever. That's that's OP. That That's all that is. It's OP. Next up, we have the puffer fish, which gives you thorns, and it makes you poisonous. Their favorite food being glowstone dust. I'm wondering about this one. The thing that I wonder about this one is, am I automatically poisonous? Yes, I am. There you go. You hit anything, you put poison on it. It's just like having a venomous sword or something like that. It's really cool. But last, and certainly not least, is your slime pet, which requires a golden apple for its food. So let's go into game mode one, get ourselves some golden apples, 64 golden apples. We might even eat one really quickly. No, actually, this will work perfectly. So, the slime pet is going to save you from certain death. So, let's go ahead and eat one of these real quick just to heal a little bit. All right, now we can go into this lava and start dying. Oh, immortality at a very cheap price. Because you get three lives per apple, you su it's seriously very hard to die. That's four lives per apple. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I This one's a bit OP. This one, I think, is very, very OP. So let's jump off something with our low HP and see if we can't uh, get healed by that. Because I'm pretty sure any form of damage this will save you from. Yep. See that? Very, very easy. Filled to full HP whenever you are, whenever you should die, essentially. When you should die, it will completely heal you. Alrighty, guys, that's going to do it for today's mod review. That was the Inventory Pets mod. I honestly think it's a little bit OP for me to play with if they weren't so strong or if they didn't give any effects and you just had to look after them like a Tamagotchi, I think I would play with them. Yeah, I think I would have them in my world just as like a pet that you have to look after. But some of those guys are a little bit too overpowered for me. But what do you guys think? You let me know in the comment section below if this is one that you would play with or not play with. You let me know. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next mod review. Bye bye.